Gustin. Well, we begin day three into wildfire season, and already we've seen three wildfires, the latest in Montgomery County. The Kentucky Wild Land Fire Management Agency says the burning stretches across 800 acres of land. Krista Spadaccini is live at the scene with the latest there. Hey, good morning, Manny and Paul. Yeah, besides the wetter winter that we have, Kentucky wildfires have been blazing through the state, fueled by these high winds in the latest in Montgomery County, where we are right now. The fire took place over there. Fire crews, we just got off the phone with uh, Montgomery e County EMS and fire, and they said that this fire is 100% contained. There are still a few hot spots here and there, though, but they say that the rain that we're expected in the forecast for later today will probably put those hot spots out. So I also want to take a look at the video. This video that we had last night. Let's take a look at that. This video is from Wednesday night. You can see where the ground is charged in the areas that are burnt and then there are other areas where the fire is still this fire was still going strong. Again, at last report, we just got off the phone with Montgomery County Fire and EMS. It's 100% contained this fire. The property owner, a nearby property owner, Tony Tipton says his family has owned this land for four generations and even though this isn't the first fire that they've battled here it is the biggest that they've seen and he shares with Fox 56 how he feels to see the land he loves so much go up in flames you know I really won't be able to tell until I see it in the daylight I'll try and come out here first thing in the morning hopefully it'll be died down by then um, but it's just sad to see it something like this happen uh, we love this property we always have I mean the my children grew up here and, and played on it, and we still do, um, and grandchildren. Uh, so it's, uh, you know, uh, not, a, not the best scenario, but we'll survive it, and uh, hopefully it doesn't affect the timber quality too much because that's, uh, that helped put all the kids through college. <laughs> so... Uh, uh, fire services have left last night. They said that there was no damage to any structures. And again, they're waiting for that rain in the forecast to put out any hot spots for this Montgomery County fire. We're live in Montgomery County. Chris Spadaccini, Fox 56 News.